did reach 23, as a matter of fact. Joining us now to talk about today's continued rally on the street is Brent Wilsey, president of Wilsey Asset Management. Okay, we, we got to 23, then it closed a little bit mm -hmm. lower. For, but the bottom line is, what's the catalyst? What's driving this market right now? Well, what's driving this market is that uh, we know on the table is going to be some tax reform. And we look at what the Dow Jones is. It's 30 companies, mm -hmm. and it goes up based on the value of what these companies earn. Well, if we have tax reform that's going to help out these companies, their earnings will go up, therefore making these 30 companies more valuable. But mm -hmm. not all 30 companies, because it's kind of, you got to understand how the Dow works, but, but that's the, the, the gist of it. Yeah. Well, there is so much uncertainty now when it comes to a legislation that is mm -hmm. pending. Um, why the optimism? It, 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 I'm going to say something's going to pass. They know something's going to pass. We don't know what's going to pass, but this needs to be done. It's going to be done. We just don't know what the details will be. We keep hearing these things, and Wall Street's very optimistic that this is going to get done. So is the Dow trading on tax reform, or the speculation that it's going to get done? And, and obviously the corporate is, is the big thing where you may see some repatriation of trillions of mm -hmm. dollars back into this country and job stimulus. Is that what we're talking about here? That's what we're talking about, too. And I, and I must say some of the companies in the Dow are overweighted. And you have to understand the Dow Jones is a, an index that's based on the price per share. So you have like three companies that are very high. You have Boeing's very high, Goldman Sachs, 3M. So as these companies move up, the Dow goes up even more. But your companies have lower prices like Cisco and General Electric. They increase, not much happens. So because it's a index that's based on price, it does artificially sometimes rise when it shouldn't. Which industries are uh, driving the Dow right now and which ones are iffy? Well, what's iffy? I mean, actually today, uh, United Healthcare came out with great earnings. Uh, they rose up 6%. They're about $200 plus a share. So they helped drive the Dow up. Uh, Boeing's been doing a great job. They account for, gosh, almost 50% of the growth this year because they're on $250 a share. So your higher price stocks are pulling the Dow up. And this can be a problem because if these start tapering down, even though GE and Cisco might do well, the Dow could taper off or even fall down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what does this mean for the average person when they hear the Dow hit briefly 2,300 for the first time, um, or 23,000, I should say? Um, what, what does it mean? Well, what it means is that the economy is doing well. They're, they are expecting tax reform. Uh, earnings are going up. The economy is healthy. Everything is, is going fine. Uh, unless you hold the Dow Jones industry yourself, you're not going to participate into it. Mm -hmm. But it means that, yes, the economy is doing well because, again, in the Dow, you've got pharmaceuticals, you've got technology, you've got um, consumer cyclicals, you have many different types of energies in there as well. So this means the overall economy is doing well because companies are doing better and therefore the market keeps going up. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope we stay the course. Brent Wilsey, thanks yeah. so much for You're joining welcome. us today. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah.